days. So today I am in a completely different location if you can't already tell. I am in my kitchen. The lighting may or may not be better or worse here. And the background is pretty plain. However, today I am in my kitchen because I am doing a pop and cooking video. Which I have done one of these already before maybe like two years ago or so. And it was just kind of fun with one of my friends, but... And I wasn't really planning on doing another one of these because a lot of people are doing them, and... I don't know, but... I saw this particular box in, when I was in LA, and I couldn't resist because... It's like edible Play-Doh! This one is so different! I couldn't help myself because there's a little image of pot stickers on here, I just could not resist. I really want to make those little tiny, tiny pot stickers, but here's all the other food inspirations. Apparently you can even make an elephant, or lollipops, or whatever you want, so that's what I'm doing today. Immediately when I open it, I smell apples. Like, red, fresh, juicy apples. Not the cleanest of opening things, but... So immediately I see four different colors of the Play-Doh, gummy, candy, whatever. They have a stick, I'm assuming as a rolling pin, a little bag of sprinkles, and a teeny tiny chocolate one. I'm assuming that's what that is. So what's usually great about these is that they have really clear instructions so you know what to do even if you can't read Japanese. Um, let's see, so step one, telling me what these things are. Okay, I guess I get that. Number two, cut out, oh, I'm supposed to cut things. I am going to cut the corners because these are basically the mold impression Things. I guess you could do it either side. So I'll be right back. Okay, next step roll out your colors, mold it, make holes with it, punch it. Okay, so I get, yeah, this isn't really a step by step, it's just a have fun with it, guys thing. So I immediately go for the white because I really want to make the, that bunny. Oh, ooh, hello. Let's not drop this on the kitchen floor. It smells kind of like lychee, maybe? That one smells like those Hello Kitty strawberry gums. <laughs> Do you guys remember that? I don't know if all the San Real stores have closed near me, but the Hello Kitty used to sell these like little tiny gum candies. That also kind of smells like the strawberry one. That. Whoa, that smells like bubblegum. That, that, that just smells like strawberry. Okay, so it looks like we have strawberry gum smelling things and bubblegum night. I don't know. First, I'm going to take a little bit of this. I'm going to use this for the plate because pink is obviously Awesome. Don't worry, I just cleaned this, so... Totally sanitary. Oh well, <laughs> there's my, here's my teeny tiny failure of a pot sticker, but that's okay, because while 
I think I'm pretty good at sketching things. I am absolutely terrible at sculpture, 3D objects. Hmm. Yeah. Tastes like. Tastes like cheap, sugary bubblegum. Minus the gum part. I make a fish. I don't want to make a blue, I'll make a yellow. It's like a goldfish. Fish. I guess. And. Okay. Now I have a stupid little goldfish with a big giant eye. A lot of footage. I have like 20 minutes of footage right now on my camera, so I should probably stop recording me doing nothing and let you guys go. So yeah, I hope you found this at least mildly entertaining. I don't know. Sometimes I just watch random YouTube videos while I'm doing my makeup just for the background noise. Who knows? But. Nevertheless, I thought I'd get you guys something out, and this was just a cute little idea. I wanted to see how this weird little edible Play-Doh thing would work out. I will let you guys get back to your weekends, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!